and our range. The next thing we have to calculate are our measures of shape, so our skewness and our kurtosis measure. We know for skewness, again we have a component which looks quite similar to what we've seen before. It's the sum of f times x minus x bar to the power of 3, while kurtosis is the sum of f times x minus x bar to the power of 4. We note that we have the same standard deviation value to the power of 3 in skewness and to the power of 4 in kurtosis. So let's first take a look at calculating out our skewness measure. We note we now need another category, which is x minus x bar to the power of 3. So the first value is x minus x bar, which is minus 24 to the power of 3, leaving minus 1, 4, 1, 1, 4. Note that when we put something to the power of 3, the minus signs do not disappear. The next value is minus 2, 8, 4, 3. And the next value is minus 72, followed by 1, 9, 8, followed by 3, 9, 6, 9. The next stage then from our formula is to multiply by f. So f times x minus x bar to the power of 3. First value we get minus 4, 2, 3, 4, 2. It's followed by minus 17, 0, 5, 9, minus 1, 3, 7, 4. 5, 3, 5, 9, and finally, 1, 9, 8, 4, 7. We need to sum these values, giving a value of minus 3, 5, 5, 6, 9. We now have the top value for our skewness measure. So we will work out our skewness which is equal to the value we've just calculated of minus 355.69 all over our standard deviation, which we calculated earlier as being 9.6 to the power of 3. We calculate this value out and we get a skewness value of approximately minus 40. The fact that our skewness value here is negative suggests that this distribution is negatively distributed. So we've calculated out our skewness. The next step is our kurtosis measure. We note that we again perform a similar, cal similar calculation, getting the sum of f times x minus x bar to the power of 4. So we need to open up a new category as x minus x bar to the power of 4. The first value we get is 341088. This is followed by 40278. And we, as we work down along, we note that when we put something to the power of 4, again, all our negative values have disappeared. And once we calculate x minus x bar to the power of 4, we need to calculate f times x minus x bar to the power of 4. So simply multiplying again by our actual frequency. First value we get is 1023265, followed by 241670, Two seven three one two six three and three one four two three nine. We sum this value up, resulting in a value of one six one six one six three. So we've now calculated the top value for our skewness or for our kurtosis measure, so. 
So kurtosis is now given as the value just calculated of 161.6163 all over our standard deviation of 9.6 to the power of 4. Resulting in a value of 188. And as this value is greater than 3, we can say that it is relatively peaked. So we've now calculated our skewness and kurtosis measure. That concludes this tutorial.